It's finally here, the best bike guide ever created. Before we get into the video, I just want to say that I'll have all the timestamps for all the techniques and strategies I will go over in the description. And I also stream live on Twitch at PepsMD from Thursday to Monday at 5.30 EST, so be sure to check me out there for some juicy live gameplay. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that you've all read Blight's powers description and know that his power lethal rush has five rushes and you use his rushes to bounce off objects to chain hits. But just in case, here it is right now. You can pause it on screen if you want. The first thing that we're going to talk about is general map knowledge, which is a necessity to mastering Blight. You will notice that certain objects around different maps actually have no collision, such as the cars on Batum or benches and snow piles on Ormond. These objects can actually be used to your advantage towards converting a hit on a survivor. Once you understand how collision works, practicing and testing all the maps and understanding how Blight's power works on all the objects is key towards becoming a great Blight. Remember, you are just learning the killer, so don't let little things like this frustrate you on your path to becoming a god. I want to quickly go over add-ons. I highly recommend using the Blighted Crow and Blighted Rat add-ons uh, that increase his speed per rush used. And this is the equivalent of running double recharge on Nurse, and it is known as the competitive add-ons for Blight. There are other good add-ons for Blight, though, such as the Alchemist Ring and Compound 21 as well as the eerie add-ons, but for the sake of this video, we will be using double speed add-ons because they're the best and most competitive. The next technique that we're going to briefly go over but use throughout the entirety of the video is called shoulder flicking. This technique is extremely important to ensure that you do not get spun out of power. In order to shoulder flick, while you're rushing at a survivor, wait until the very last second to whereas you're colliding with the survivor and flick in the direction that they last move in, like I do in this clip right here. This secures a hit every single time. Moving on to the hug tech, a super easy technique that allows you to lose collision with almost every tile in the game. To hug tech, you simply rush at an object and on your second rush or more, hug the object, look down, and rush and you'll be able to slide off the object with zero collision. Be sure to test this on all objects because it may be slightly more difficult to pull off on certain objects as opposed to other tiles. Now we're getting to the most juicy part of the killer, the most important part, bump logic. Bump logic is all about using your brain. Bump logic is using all or almost all of your rushes effectively to secure hits on tiles instead of blindly flicking. You can take advantage of your speed to secure easy hits that normally seem impossible. A lot of tiles are simply impossible to get hits on without reading your surroundings, such as trees, rocks, hooks, lockers, or even generators. Next, we're going to take a look at Fukin DH vs. Blight. If you take a look at this clip in the previous one, I'm able to use all of my rushes successfully to bait out the survivor's DH so that I can get a free down. This is essential because DH is so annoying against Blight. In these next two clips, I combine everything I taught you, including hug tech, bump logic, baiting out DH, and shoulder flicking to secure awesome downs against a strong competitive player. What is best survivor fucking NA, dude? Caution. I know that this was not a super long and in-depth guide, but I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and waste your time. These are the tools that will help you get insane at Blight. Now the rest is all up to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and smash that sub button. And happy Blighting!